am Kathleen Benson with the Tinley Park Park District, and I'm the Recreation Supervisor who oversees the Todd Time Preschool Program. Today I'm going to take you into our classrooms. We're going to get to meet the teachers, learn about our program, and check it all out. So come along with me. Hi, I'm here in room one, and I have one of the teachers. What's your name? Mrs. Mizuka. Hi, I'm Mrs. Mizuka. Welcome to room one. I'm here with Mrs. Polk. A important goal of a preschool teacher is to provide a safe and sound foundation for your child to learn and grow. We provide a multi-sensory approach. We use eyes, uh, eyes which will be visual, ears which is auditory, hands which is tactile, and our bodies which is kinesthetic. So we feel that that approach kind of engages and encourages all children to learn. Take it away, Mrs. Polk. Good morning, I'm Mrs. Polk. I've been here for 21 years and every day I'm still learning and still growing. This is our first COVID experience and Mrs. Mazuka and I have been able to keep the kids safe. Everything that we do, if we do it together, we're constantly wiping down our toys, our bathroom, and all the things you see up here that associate with handwriting without tears that we do as a small group everything gets wiped down. So a safe environment, it's a clean environment. We are using handwriting without tears. Um, we can do that with our music. We're marching around the room, singing, dancing, all, using all our body parts. Handwriting without tears also uses curves, lines, big lines and little lines to form our letters and our numbers. When we do our math, we're still recognizing numbers, but also counting our numbers. Um, by the time we get to kindergarten, we hope to be counting to 100, but we also hope to be recognizing what that equals. Again, handwriting without tears, our letter is K. So we are practicing on our board. We are cutting our letter. We are also today using crayons to do key rubbing. A lot of visuals, a lot of visuals around our room. They have to find the K, look around the room for the pictures that go with the letter of the week. We're also, again, a lot of math, a lot of visual, a lot of counting. Um, but we're not just sitting down for the, le the next couple of hours. We're moving about the room. We get to come over when we're, some people may be doing their name or their letter paper or their cutting. The rest of us are in our sensory bin looking for the letter K. Hmm, here it is. Lots of fun. Is it messy? Yes. We clean it up. We start all over the next day. Again, when we're doing our letter K, we're also using our full body. We're trying to do kicks. We're trying to do jumps. We're trying to find the letter K around the room. The fun starts here. Yeah. Come on in and check us out. Hello, and now we've made it to room two, and I have these two teachers here. And uh, teachers, what are your guys' names? How long have you been here? And what's your favorite thing about preschool? Hi, I'm Mrs. Matajak. I have been here for five years now, and my favorite thing about preschool is getting to see the kids every day. Good morning, I'm Miss Merritt. I've been here for eight years now, and my favorite part of preschool is doing our crafts. And what does our typical day in uh, the preschool uh, look like? Um, we like to have fun in room two. Um, our typical day is we have the children come in, they sanitize their hands, put their things away, um, we start out with the pledge and we move on to our fun poem. We get them up, we get them moving. Um, a good way to start the day. We talk about our calendar, our days of the week, months of the year, what number we're on, what's our weather. Um, we like to read a story. We read them all together. Um, sometimes we do it on a laptop. Sometimes we do it as a read aloud. Um, uh, after we have our little circle time and our story and kind of get to know each other and relax for the day, then we talk about whatever it is we're talking about. So, for instance, we're working on letter K this week. So we'll talk about what the K looks like. We'll talk about some K words. 
and then the kids will go to their seats and they'll work with their write and wipe folders, which they can practice how to write the word or the letter rather. And then on the other side, they get a chance to practice their names. Um, after that, we will work on, we may use Play-Doh to make the letters or paint, or we may do a craft. You can see we have some um, hearts painted hanging up in our room. After we do all of our work, we have some independent playtime, so they get to go to the tables and play with the toys and one another. Once we're done with that, we come back, we turn on some music, we sing and dance, and that is how our day goes here in room two. Tracy Sadowski, uh, I've been teaching at the Park District for 12 years. And my favorite um, thing about being a teacher is seeing how excited the children are to learn and to meet new friends. All right, and we have our other teacher here. And what's your name? My name is Betty Hansen, and I've been teaching for over 20 years, Mama Mia. <laughs> and I love preschool. I love to teach STEM projects, painting, art. Um, and see the enjoyment of the children's faces when they accomplish something they've never been able to do before. And uh, let's see, we've got some projects here. And what's STEM all about? Uh, our Ta Time program incorporates STEAM learning in a fun, hands-on way. Through science, technology, engineering, art, and math, our students learn about the world around them. We use books, discussions, experiments, creative art, music, and educational games. To celebrate the new year, the children made a pom-pom popper. We asked them to predict what would happen if they filled the tube with pom-poms. They tested it and found out that it doesn't work very well if they use too many pom-poms. They discovered it works best with only one or two pom-poms. They also tried using different sized pom-poms to see if that would influence the results. They had a lot of fun counting down the new year and blasting off their pom-pom poppers. Another fun project we did is the children used marshmallows and toothpicks to make different designs. They had a blast with that. In the fall, we went outside and went on a nature scavenger hunt. The children got to find different objects um, outside around our school. We also play with Play-Doh almost every day. The children love making designs or cookies. They also use it to make their letters. They practice their cutting. So when we got a lot of snow outside, we went outside and got some snow and we watched it melt and we compared the volume of the snow when it was frozen to a liquid when it melted. Um, another thing that we did was we made ramps, very elaborate, this one isn't so much, um, and we practiced putting marbles or cars down the ramps with Legos and pool noodles. Thank you so much for seeing our room and the activities we do. We love the children, we love the excitement on their faces, and the joy of learning new things. Thank you for checking out our Top 10 Preschool program here at the Tinley Park Park District. As you have heard, our program focuses on letters, numbers, colors, shapes, along with science, literacy components, social, emotional, and so much more on a daily basis, which all serve as great foundations for your children for when they enter elementary school. Our registration for our program starts on March 8th, and all of our offerings can be found on our website at tinleyparkdistrict.org, or you can come by the Recreation Center to pick up a brochure. Today, we just viewed the top 10 preschool rooms here at the Tony Bettenhausen Recreation Center, but we also offer top 10 preschool at Boat Woods. So thank you so much for checking us out, and we hope to see you and your child next fall. Thank you.